think one of the things that's really obscure about the Olympic Games is how the entire thing is filmed. Now we know that when we watch television, we just see the pictures and it looks amazing, but who's actually shooting this? Now, if you think about it, there are around 206 nations or territories that are actually broadcasting the games, of which a high percentage of them have their own television production teams and rights holding broadcasters. So if you're in the UK, one of them is the BBC, a long standing broadcaster of the games. But they don't shoot the content that you see in front of you on the playing field. The entire production is filmed by an organization called the Olympic Broadcasting Service, which is a bit like the United Nations of television. It's composed of iterant workers who descend on the Olympic city and set up to film the games as it happens. And it's a remarkable community, people that have worked on all sorts of events around the world. And it's all of those cameras that are then brought into the broadcasting outfit to then curate the feed for the channel that you're watching. So they take all these different sources from the different cameras that are in the stadium and mix it all together for you to see on your own production. And it's the commentators that are local to those broadcasters that then augment and orchestrate the entire performance that make it real to us. So we have the OBS that's there to film. We have the rights holding broadcasters that are there to commentate and curate the content. But what's really interesting about it is just this week we've seen the production and release of the second version of the portrayal guidelines, which is really like a kind of code of ethics for all the broadcasters and journalists more generally to think about how they report the content. Now, historically, there's been a lot of challenges and problems with how commentators in particular comment on women in sport. So a lot of the guidelines are focused on making sure that the language, the terminology, the, the camera shots are all respectful and adhered to the expectations of the Olympic movement in representing women in sport. It's really fascinating to have a look at, not least because it's this kind of aspirational document that ensures that everybody is working towards the same sorts of values. And all of that is underpinned by the Olympic Charter as well. So take a look at it. You'll see a sense of, of really how the Olympics tries to usher in an era of responsible filmmaking. It's really a fascinating document to have a look at and analyze and digest and think about, but also to think about what else is missing. Take a look.